Look at this. It is just the cutest thing in the African bush. Tiny baby lion cubs. They are the bestest. They're little sausages, little teddy bears. Remember, this is coming to you 100% live from Kenya. And this is still the Black Rock Pride, the rest of the Pride. And there's three females here, and there are four tiny little teddy bears. And we're very close to their namesake, the Black Rock. And it looks like they've also had a successful evening and caught a wildebeest as well. I'm almost glad that the other, other lions had gremlins because we wouldn't have come here and uh, found these tiny little babies. Oh, I, I, it's going to be quite difficult for you because of the wind so strong, but the noises meow, is just incredible. Oh, look, look, we're being stalked, Dave. Hello, little one. Where are you going? Oh, my goodness. Next one coming around the bush. Oh, going back. I think they're going to jump on each other. Oh my goodness. This is just too, too wonderful. Little, little cubs. Charge. Oh, oh, hello. Ow. So they're not even, not even getting that wow yet. It's it's a squeak that they're making. So obviously their vocal cords, cords are still developing. I'm going to go forward just as or back just as gauche. Let me try to see what the females are eating. It is a wildebeest. nearly finished oh hello guys oh there's a tail cubs love tails it's the best toy in the world for a little lion cub <laughs> so there are four of these tiny little babies Uh, hi, Stephanie. Um, Stephanie says they look so young, but they're eating meat. Well, they'll nibble on the meat more than eat it. Um, I'd say these guys are no more than about six weeks old. Um, look at that. Oh, my goodness. Um, but they'll nibble on meat. But normally, um, from about two months, they'll, they'll, they'll eat meat. But remember, they're still going to be fully reliant on mom's milk for until um, they're about five or six months old when they lose their baby teeth. Now, for those of you who are wondering... This is 100% live, coming to you from Kenya. And if you want to ask me a question about these absolutely gorgeous lion cubs, you can do so by using the hashtag Safari Live on Twitter. Oh! <laughs> and at this age, everything's a toy. Each other, tails, sticks, grass. No, um, as I just said, uh, I'd say they're between four and six weeks old, so very, very, very small. Oh, look, look at the back climbing, or attempted, and until mom stood up. I'm not sure which one's the mother yet, can't see who's lactating, but they're all the same age, so I say all four cubs are from one lioness. Oh, this wind is horrible. And they are, there we go. Getting used to the idea of rare meat. So they'll more nibble and play um, with the meat at the moment than feed on it. Naughty cubbies running away. Mom looked like she was going to go pick it up. Running towards the other safari vehicle who's enjoying the sighting with us. A 
pretty sure she's going to pick the cub up if it carries on misbehaving. Here we go. Nick is wondering how, what is the survival rate of lion cubs? Uh, Nick, it varies from area to area, but normally only about, uh, well, in the Mara, about 60%, sometimes 50% of cubs survive, which is a bit higher than other areas. Oh, you guys are naughty. Naughty little teddy bears. Right. There we go. They're being escorted back towards this, the kill and the thicket. Now, strangely enough, it actually looks like there's two lactate. No, she's very pregnant. So that female walking there, she's going to give birth very soon. So I thought she might be lactating. Um, she is. And I think these little cubs are lactating off both these females, but one of them is still pregnant. Oh, so much. So much trouble, you little horrors. Just too, too cute. Now, dear watchers, wondering when do the eyes change colour? Um, it can vary, but normally, normally when they're about between two and three months old. Ow! Ow! It's just too, uh, too delicious. Aren't they just scrumptious? Mute. So they're probably a, even a little bit smaller than a big house cat at this age. Trouble coming in at the back. Steaming in down the termite mound. Coming to say hi, Ma. Here we go. Charge! Now they're still so clumsy at this age, falling over their own feet, falling over each other. And you see there's a little trip there. And it's hard to believe that in a couple of years they will be proficient killers. Hey little guys. As I said, I think there's going to be a few more cubs to this pride quite soon. John is wondering, will they share den sites if more than one lion is pregnant? No, John. Uh, they'll den individually. Uh, now, what I've noticed in the Mara in comparison to other places in Africa where I've worked is that the cubs tend to be introduced to the pride at a much younger age and I, I think it's probably due to the, the very high hyena density uh, that is in the Mara. Oh, getting upset. Oh, there's a bit of a fight going on. Number four is coming over. <laughs> now, enough of that. Riti is wondering, can a lactating lioness get, still get pregnant? Um, if she's lactating, she's either pregnant or she's got cubs. So, uh, no, no she, she would already be pregnant. And she's only going to come into estrus again uh, once these cubs get to independence, which will be at about two years old. So, once she is lactating, she's either pregnant or she's got cubs. Um, so, she, she's not going to get pregnant again. Now you must remember, as cute and fluffy as these little lions are, those little lion cub teeth are like hypodermic needles. They are so sharp. Now, it, 
we're gonna sit here for a little bit longer and uh, see what these coveys get up to. This is a really special find because they're probably not gonna move too far from this area for the next while. But it sounds like Taylor has got some bigger cubs of her own playing with a bit of a macabre scene. Yes, they've decided to play on what's left of the 